All right there guys, thanks for tuning in again. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing and show you guys the new sunglasses. So I've had the native sunglasses brand throttle model for quite a few years. I've had some Oakleys, uh, the five squared I really enjoyed. I enjoyed uh, some of the Wiley X models and uh, there's a whole bunch of different sunglasses out there. My biggest problem, um, I'm sure some of you have you know, wider faces thinner faces, most people don't have problems getting a good fit with their sunglasses, but I've got a very thin face. So trying to find glasses that fit really good, that aren't made for kids, um, it took me quite a while to find a pair of sunglasses that I really like. So I did end up just reordering a pair of the Native Throttle. I <coughs> found that I liked them. I found though, um, I'm not sure if this is going to show up real well, but they are scratched to piss. And <laughs> they're super dusty right now too, and I'm not sure if that's going to show up at all, but they're really, really scratched up. They're hard to see through um, in certain spots. They fall off my head quite a bit, and that's, you know, mostly my fault, but um, picked them up from REI quite a few years ago. And again, uh, serve me very well, and they're not super duper expensive. You know, they're not, uh, well, some of the newer models are. I think that the new throttles that they're offering now are a smoked gray frame with a reflective or a silver reflex lens that are on Amazon right now for about 185 bucks. Um, so what I was thinking is I was just going to jump online, and yeah, there you go again, scratching my, scratching my lenses. But I was just going to go online and order myself a pair of replacement lenses that they offer um, quite a bit in some different colors. So uh, what I found when I logged on, when I jumped online, is that the replacement lenses are about $50 to $60 for a set of, of lenses. And um, even from Native, um, from Native on Amazon, a new pair of throttles, the exact same model, and the model here is... I'm not sure whose sticker that is, but um, the throttle, that's not correct. I actually got my pair, this brand new pair of throttles for $65. So for an extra $15, I got a brand new pair of native sunglasses. Here's the, I'm going to give you a little sticker, give you their warranty, and um, give you a nice little carrying case, uh, lens wipe, whatever. This bag is ideal for lens cleaning. Um, and so there they are. Now, just, I'm not sure if this is going to show up either, but just to kind of show you how, if you're going to be able to see that, um, how shiny and glossed over my old pair got, especially in, in the, you know, the ear rests and in the sides. Um, they just got, you know, these are kind of a matte, the new ones are kind of a matte finish to them. Uh, the frames, specifically talking about the frames. And, you know, over the years, these just got pretty shiny, so kind of cool to see that, that it's a, uh, you know, brand new day here for Red Tail Ray. Got a new pair of sunglasses, very happy with them. Um, they fit just like they did. Now, the only issues I've ever actually had besides my own silliness uh, scratching my lenses is that in my old pair, um, the nose pieces uh, have like this hook that comes down, so they kind of slide up onto this hook. I ended up having to uh, dry them out real good with a, uh, I took a Q-tip and I took most of the cotton off and I got some alcohol and I had to clean out the nose pieces and then super glue them back on and that was after about at least two years of, of pretty much everyday use. I used my sunglasses in the summertime, in the wintertime, um, part of my, you know, have them with me every single day. So I'm curious to see how well these are going to hold up, what they already look like. They have a little um, different design feature in just the nose pieces where in the old pair, I'm sure we're going to show up here. Oh, oh, there you go. In the old pair, they've got this little swoop, I like this little dash or gash, and you see these ones are still kind of falling apart on this side. But on the new pair, the nose pieces are just slightly, ever so slightly different. They're a little bit bigger, they don't have that little swoop in them, and they seem to be, you know, just side by side, they don't seem to be as curved. Maybe that's just after so much use, they get their own curvature as they bend and, you know, form to your face. But, 
super stoked about those. Um, it's kind of a necessity. It's, uh, my family and I are getting ready for a cross country road trip to go to South Lake Tahoe for a really good friend's wedding. And I'm gonna be stopping by a bunch of national parks. We're gonna do a snow coach tour. Um, stay tuned for videos. I'm not sure how much uploading I'm gonna be able to do in the next two weeks on our giant road trip, but I'm gonna have lots of pictures that I'm gonna be sharing through Instagram and on my Facebook page. It's gonna be a blast. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, uh, thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Oh, one quick note. I'm not sure if those videos got posted yet. I gotta look, but as of, well, today is the 24th. As of four days ago now, February 20th, um, most everybody's YouTube channels that don't have over 4,000 minutes of watch, or hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers don't have the ability to be part of the YouTube partnership program anymore. So my channel has been demonetized and I am no longer getting money from YouTube, which really stinks. I'm kind of dis actually really disappointed um, with everything that YouTube's done. I've not talked about this in my last few videos, but no longer, not that I ever was, but no longer making YouTube videos for a little bit of extra cash. So until I get that thousand subscribers and they decide to you know, start throwing me money again, um, we'll see how it goes. But I'll see you guys in the next video.